music is in y'all's blood. Yeah. Yep. I mean, w- w- hit on that. Like, you've got your brothers, mm-hmm. two brothers, yep. and your dad that continue to play instruments and sing today. Yeah. I mean, it's just when you were born, you knew you were going to be a singer at least. Whether yeah, you're going to be man. good or not. Who, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you've, exactly. you've made that road, but hit on that a little bit. Man, so to my two older brothers, they play music. My dad has played music his whole life. He taught himself how to play fiddle, and that's like the hardest instrument to play anyway, and then yeah. teaching he, yourself how to do it. still today. Yes, yeah. yep. Um, man, he's just, that all goes back to the, the kind of Western ranching way of life is that he he worked his ass off to learn how to play that instrument, you know? Yeah. Um, and my two older brothers, they write their own tunes. They still play their own tunes with their own bands out there, kind of like in the Rocky mountain region. And, um, so I, I really didn't have a choice growing up. It was, I knew that I was going to play music, um, from the bout, from when I was about four years old, taking piano, you know? Um, and then by the time I was about 10 years old, we played, um, together in our family called the Munzik Boys. Okay. So, um, Love that. We, we would play rodeos, weddings, private stuff, um, just kind of all around the Rocky Mountain region up until I was about 18. And um, So you were 10 when you started doing that? 10 when I started, yeah, man. Uh-huh. And our, uh, our first show was in Story, Wyoming at a restaurant called The Wagon Box, and um, I was pretty terrible, I'm sure, you know. Like, yeah. having a 10-year-old on stage can't be that good. Um, but um, I remember my dad handed me a 20. It was like, here's your share, son. I was like, oh, my gosh, we get paid to do that? Yeah. This is amazing. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, so I kind of knew, man. Um, and then when I was 18, I moved here. To Nashville. Mm-hmm. Went to Belmont. When did you think or sit there and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to – explore actually being a singer country artist man so um is there a pivotal time in your life that you're like hey i'm gonna at least try this thing out yeah dude i i would say um i put out a tune called horses are faster right before i moved here um and to my dad had a horses are faster was when you were 18 yeah wow i didn't know that i wrote it when i was 18 Recorded it right after that. Yep. Um, but the, my dad had a studio t- in our house. It was like a room, just kind of like this room, you know. Um, but I was always d- d- down there kind of exploring and, you know, messing around. Um, so I recorded it, not really d- knowing what I was doing or anything like yeah. that. And then that was back in the days where... YouTube was really the only way to like to release to get anything. stuff out there, you know. So I, I put know, it up you on kinda, YouTube. And, you kind of seemed that you would peg me as like a guy that would just be walking around the street with the USB. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Just like, hey, check out my big time. Album. Oh yeah, dude. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, but man, I threw it up on YouTube and um, moved here, and then a few years later, um, it just kind of started to grow legs organically in Wyoming and Montana. So I knew that I had at least a small thing that was my own and that people liked, you know? So that's kind of when I knew I was like, hey, man, I could try this thing. But at the time, I was just playing bass in town for other artists as a – hired gun, Mm -hmm. you know, because my dad told me that, um, if I learned how to play the bass and do harmonies that I would never go hungry in Nashville. And man, he was right. I got my first gigs that way and, um, played through college. And it was about that time where my wife, my now wife, um, hit me up and, told me that uh, she had heard my song and that she wanted to um, to just talk about what I was doing. And and, um, she had been on the road with some uh, heavy metal bands, but she wanted to get back into the country music world and start her own management. Wow. So, yeah, man. So we just 
hit it off well, and we started to work with each other. And um, uh, in 2017, I released my first EP that had Horses Are Faster on it. And, yep. and that was kind of the start of, of um, my artistry. Yeah, that's when you knew, okay, I had yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Totally says, side note, a lot, and now it makes sense on some of Caroline's demeanors that she was on the road <laughs> rock band. So oh, yeah, dude. Starting to make a lot more sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> but let's hit on that. So we can't. I can't sit here and do this interview without... Um, talking about that relationship because it's such a cool, unique relationship with you and Carolina. You yeah. all met at Belmont, mm -hmm. yep. and she co-manages you with Alan and Irv and that crew. Yep. Like, how how do you? Because you do such a great job. Of, you're a great parents to Crawford. I get. To, I've been lucky, lucky enough to see that firsthand. Like when you think about work life balance which is mm -hmm. so important yeah. and um you're in carolina's professional and personal relationship mm -hmm. how does that work how's that been man it's it's um i feel like we figure it out every day at a time man you know because yep. every day is a new day there's always um new obstacles she has the calls with our label publicist agents Every day, all day, you know, so she has a full time, full, 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 full time job, yeah. like all day, every day, you know, and me, man, like I'll write a day, I'll be in the studio a day, I'll be in Florida one day and yep. New York the next day, you know, so our lives are always changing, but that's why we love it, man, is because yeah. no day is like the last one. Yeah. But when Crawford, our three year old, man, that's. That's how we, that's how we turn off work is now we're with him yeah. and that's the most grounding thing is because we do that for him so that he'll hopefully have a, um, a easier life. Is he going to be a singer one you know day? I, mean? I think so. Yeah. He's, he's gotta uh, be in music. Dude, right? He has the guitar out every day, loves to, uh, sing his Jesus loves me and stuff like that every single Love night. That. Even in his bed when he's alone, he'll just be screaming those lyrics out. It's 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 wild. But um man, he's he's really how we turn off work and um prioritize our home life. Yeah. 